So choosing your house to many Harry Potter fans when playing a game like Hogwarts, seeing as it lets us be that witch or wizard we've always wanted to be is a massive part of our story. And in Hogwarts Legacy, we actually get to choose a house. But what house should you choose? Well, today I will explain everything you need to know about each house and how they may indeed affect the game and your playthrough. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So the houses of Harry Potter and Hogwarts Legacy are Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw and Slytherin and they will play a major part in your player's progression within Hogwarts Legacy. Houses at Hogwarts are both the living and learning communities for its members. Each year's group of students in the same house share the same dormitory and many classes. And yes, houses do indeed compete with one another. But most of you know all this if you've watched any of the Harry Potter movies or read the books. But if you've never really paid that much attention to either, I will explain and give details about each house especially if you're looking forward to the game and what house could be best for you. Also keep in mind, being in a house is more than just wearing specific colours, it changes elements of the gameplay to offer a unique experience relevant to the house you're in. Now in Hogwarts Legacy, we do get to choose our house. Now we know via the movies and book, the Sorting Hat picks our house for us, but if you remember in the movies, Harry Potter actually changed his house. Now we do see a snippet within the trailer, the gameplay trailer of the sorting hat being put on a player's head. This I feel may be a random choice at the time or it goes off what we choose prior. Or like Harry Potter, maybe it chooses for us but we get to change either way, we get to pick our own house. Now normally the way the sorting hat works is I believe it looks into the child's thoughts. It looks at their uh, attributes and qualities and most important of all, it looks at their desires and what drives them. The sorting hat then takes all these into account and then picks them a house. It's said that the brave go to Gryffindor, the intellectual go to Ravenclaw, the cunning go to Slytherin and the hard work into Hufflepuff. Now in the actual game I don't think there's anything that really examines you as a player to see which house you suit and I say this because we know we get to choose our house real early on and it kind of makes sense because we are playing catch up with the game's story. We join as a student late into the fifth year. But if you actually want to see what house would be picked for you based off your personality, there's actually a website called The Wizarding World which allows you to do this and I'll link it down below. If you head over there and just sign up for this, which is free by the way, you can do like a questionnaire, pick what you do in certain scenarios and then the sorting hat will decide on a house for you. They can also on this site do the same for your wand as well as your Patronus. But wait, it gets even better. You can then go ahead uh, if you haven't already and create a Warner Brothers account. Then link the two together and what you have here in regards to your house, your wand and your Patronus I believe will be transferred over into the game. Plus you will also get some in-game bonuses at the same time. Now your Warner Brothers account obviously though needs to be linked to your playing game attack on whatever platform you're on, PC, Xbox, PlayStation. So yeah, that is a great way to choose a house or have one chosen for you. Now a little more about said houses. Gryffindor values bravery, daring, nerve and chivalry. Its emblematic animal is a lion. Its representative gemstone is rubies and its colours are scarlet and gold. Hufflepuff values hard work, dedication, patience, loyalty and fair play. Its emblematic animal is a badger. Its representative gemstone are yellow diamonds and yellow and black are its colours. Ravenclaw values intelligence, knowledge, curiosity, creativity and wit. Its emblematic animal is an eagle. Its representative gemstone are sapphires and its colours were blue and bronze. And then we have Slytherin who value ambition, leadership, self-preservation, cunning and resourcefulness. Its emblematic animal is a serpent and its colours are emerald green and silver. Now me personally, I know I was chosen to go into Gryffindor, but I still may make that change to Ravenclaw. I mean, that's a house I've always been drawn to, but hey, that is just me. But yeah, guys, I hope this video helps you make the right choice. I don't think it's majorly important to the player who isn't really fussed about the whole house choice or isn't really fussed about Harry Potter like that and just looking forward to the game. But if you are a Harry Potter fan, I'm pretty sure this is a big choice for you. And like I said, the best way to do this is 
definitely going over into the wizarding world and having a certain hat pick that house for you determined by your own personality but yeah guys i hope this video helps you make the right choice or if the options there in game will you just go with the sorting hat in game if it just pick a house for you let me know also if you signed up to the wizarding world site let me know what wand patronus and the house you got and there we have it guys the end of the video has arrived if you enjoyed it leaving a like it really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one